Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Carried Away and this one marks the end of the daily videos but don't be sad there'll be plenty more videos in the future and of course I want to encourage you to keep on liking the video so if we get 2,000 likes on this video what I'll do is sandbox mode in the next episode and I do wonder Nope, it doesn't remember what I was doing here a moment ago. I wanted to investigate and uh, find out what we could do before I recorded an episode. And it turns out that there's <laughs> a lot we could have. We could have a lot of fun with sandbox mode is what I'm saying. So episodes are now going to be on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Just so you know. And of course, thank you for the tremendous support on this season. I've been loving this game and we're going to start off by playing the assault course, this level here. It should unlock the Pickle Pass, which is that one, and then we'll be able to find out if there's another set of levels behind here. So we're going to start off with a couple of hard levels, which means probably a lot of editing, right? Because there'll be tons of trial and error. This one is called the Assault Course. I opened it up a moment ago, as you can see it remembered the lift that I put in. And it's pretty much an Assault Course, it's, it's what it says, right? I think, to start with, can we just do... Oh, there's a tree there. <laughs> I was thinking let's go up the slope like that. In fact, in my mind, I was kind of thinking like it was a, uh, a drag lift, which is not a course. It's a, it's a ski lift. Um, that one there is not going to be terribly useful, but if we do that, that might be more reasonable. This is actually going to be extremely difficult, isn't it? Because we've got to get over this thing here, which suggests you might need to build an even bigger support. What is our budget? Right, that, that looks very high. How many zeros are there? Yeah, no, I think we've got a huge budget for this. Okay, now can I... I can't do that. And we've only got one anchor there. So we need to create like a crazy network of supports in this area. And I'm not sure what's the best way to go about doing that. Now that, is that going to be... That's not going to be sturdy at all, is it? It needs like an additional thing on the side. Otherwise, it's going to be able to wobble and wiggle about. So that should actually make that entire thing sturdy. Now I'm thinking... You know, you attach a couple of those. How? We're supposed to drop directly down. This is going to be madness, this level, isn't it? It's going to be utter madness. So we need to drop directly down. Um, let's put you like that. Now that, to me, in theory, mm, possibly, maybe, gets a little bit wobbly. Uh, let's attach a couple of wheels here. We want to avoid that tree, and then we want to sort of drop down directly like that. That's bonkers. This level's going to drive me mad, I've got a feeling. Okay, so let's create a connection like that. Put a thingy here, and then drag it around. And then we've got to go down again. Yeah, I'm starting to see, though, that as we add all of these extra supports, that we're creating a rather large grid. And if that grid is hooked up to lots of anchor points, and it's well designed, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now, here's a tricky one. How close to the mountain do we want to go here? Do we want to go that close? Because... It's possibly what we could end up doing. And let's connect those together. John, that's looking pretty sturdy, I think. So if you want to go back to the beginning and change something, this thing is a pain in the bum. <laughs> and now I've made it worse for myself. Jeez, there we go. I think we've got too many of these wheels all over the place. So let's come back here and redo this. I also got a feeling, though, having lots of wheels might take the slack out of this operation, which could be a really good thing. So... I really do think we should uh, consider making yeah, less of these overall. Okay, so what ones could we possibly get rid of? That one, I reckon. Oops. Uh, that was not what I was trying to do. Let's press D for delete. That one there, I think, is a little unnecessary. Okay, it might clip the tree. We might have to adjust things there. That one, I think, is crucial to keep it away from there. So that one's probably not necessary. And that one there, obviously, isn't getting used. Right, let's zoom in and make some final adjustments then. I think we're going to clear the tree. I think we're going to struggle to clear that. So this needs to go higher, and it's not able to do so at the moment. If we move some things around here, we might mm, be able to get a little bit of height. That one's probably restricting it a fair bit. And this one here as well. Okay, that's much more like it. Right, so hopefully we clear that. We dip down. We should clear this one, but let's... Oh, again, it's going to struggle to go any higher isn't it well that's about the best we can do we're gonna come all the way down here I think that's a little bit low and actually that thing if any looks kind of under supported let's attach an additional thing there and then the rest of it I'm kind of cool with now I'm guessing what we're gonna see is like a weak point and the whole thing falls apart right let's turn on the tension so we can see it uh, a couple of weak points there and there otherwise it's kind of holding out. I'm not actually too surprised by that because there's so many supports going all over the place. 
there's going to just be a lot of this well supported, right? And it's actually working and possibly... Now this, this bit right here is going to be the bit, isn't it? Yeah, ow, ow! Oh no, you've fallen off. That was going to work first time until we reached that bit there. So I think if we just move it to up here, we're probably going to avoid that, right? Let's give it a try. This could actually work on like our second attempt. And that one means we get to clear both this one and that one. By the way, if my voice sounds different today, uh, I was out at a gig last night catching up with a friend, doing a lot of talking. <laughs> uh, my voice all morning has been chronic morning voice. And now it's the middle of the day, it's still bad, and I thought, do you know what, I've got to get on record a video, so if I sound a little bit different, now you know why. But don't worry about me, I'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so this is looking really good. Really good. In fact, almost too good. <laughs> it's too good to be true. No, this seems to be working. We're clearing every... That tree now looks ridiculously close, and yet... <gasps> Ooh! Oh, and you got toppled over! Jeez. Right, we need to just sort out that last little bit, don't we? So that's good. So we can come here. I still feel like we're too close to that tree. So let's try... Oh, no. You're already probably about as raised up as you go. Let's move that there. Let's bring this over. Aha, that's looking healthy. And you to there. That should be that. Wow, we have, we have done this very fast. I'm really pleased for an expert level. Uh, we've done a good job here, haven't we? Right, let's speed it up. Oh, they're going through no problems whatsoever. Lots of swinging about. Over here, though, you're clearing it with no problems. And you're off the lift. And it's perfect. We're going to get all the stars, peeps. This is a great start to the episode. All right, then. Success. And there's my five medals. That feels very good. Excellent. We can do the pickle pass now. This is a combo level. The last time we did one of those, it was pretty enjoyable. So I think this one's going to be fun, too. What is going on over there? <laughs> uh, so the rider... Gonna go down here, gonna collect that star. There's a second rider and a third. This is odd. You're facing that way. Where do they start and end? Do I place the starts and end? This is now confusing. And there's a rider here. What is going on? I feel like perhaps we've got to build a network that goes. Oh, is that it there? But you're facing that way. I think we've got to get all of them to the middle bit. Yeah, this fella's facing that way. Let's just click play for the sake of it, right? Oh, we're not going to learn much here. Oh, wow, you're going to have a bad day. And that's about it. I think that's what we've got to do, peeps. I think we've got to get them all to there. And this one is facing the wrong way. Okay, meet the Bridge of Doom. No one wants to ride this bridge, but you, you can ride it once. And behind it, this ski is going to come up to the top and uh, land up here and hopefully go down this. So we're solving problems one at a time, but we're also taking the easy route into this because we want to see if this is how we solve the level. I mean, that's the, the checkpoint for the end, right? And we hear the noise when the first rider goes over. So check this guy out. Makes it all the way across, and then... Oh, that's interesting. There is actually a place for you to land without getting hurt. Hmm... Because I was thinking you build up so much speed here, you're only going to just collide and then end up with uh, a dead rider. Now, the other one comes off at this point as well. I'm hoping it's positioned correctly so you can... Oh, no. No. You don't want to go down there. Oh, no. Oh, I saw some blood. Very bad. Very bad. All right. It's time to focus on these two now. And I've got two ideas on what might happen. But first of all, you see that this one just stands still. So I'm thinking either we have to prompt this one to come down to the bottom of the hill and get on a ski lift or a gondola or something like that. Or we can pick this rider up halfway up. So if we go with a drag lift like this to the top, we may need to put in a support, which is okay because we've got some foundations here. But what we will need is a jump of some sort. Well, not a jump, you know, like a little ramp to, to get from here to there. Those trees are in the way, aren't they? I don't think that's going to work. I think we're going to need a foundation here, or two. Um, and where really probably doesn't matter too much. Because we're just going to join them with that. And that. And put a wheel on it. Right. So hopefully that's enough to get over the rock. Now also what we need is then from here to there, right? Now, hmm, that last bit looks a little bit dodgy. Let's hope that it works. And they both need support. So there you go. And there you go. Let's see what happens then. 
Yeah, this looks really dodgy. Okay, has our first rider gone on yet? No, nope, you haven't. All these trees are in the way as well. Let's get a good view of this thing. So, up the drag lift. Looking good so far. No problems. By the way, the bridge over there now works, so both of the riders should have come across. I just realised I hadn't recorded that. Just about there. Oh, what happened to the other one? I wasn't paying attention. I think it worked. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think it worked. Hang on. Let's click play and then focus on the second rider. Do you just pick sign up when it comes to you? You do. It pulls you backwards. Goodness me. How are you supposed to turn around? So one of these has got to do the course backwards. I'm, I'm thinking now that let's forget about that star. We can try that star another time. I reckon what we need now is just a slope coming down with enough speed to take the rider all the way across here. There we go. Looking good. And over to that point. And hopefully they'll have enough speed to go all the way up there through the finishing line. Also, the riders that come from this side, where do they go? Maybe we need a little bit of a ramp so they jump over. Oh, this is getting confusing. So we have a bridge here. And it's probably not going to hold out for very long. And what we're going to see is one rider comes down from one side. There it is. Oh, lands on the bridge. And that wasn't a very good landing. Okay, this is one long continuous bridge now, which is kind of not what we're actually trying to do. Uh, also, this could end very badly because that thing, yeah, jumps jumps on it still. That's the real problem, isn't it? This is interesting. Let's watch the rider, okay? Goes across, does a big jump over the other rider and... Uh, oh, didn't quite adjust the camera in time. Bumps into this one. It's got me thinking, is it possible for that rider to land and not interfere with this over here? I mean, that would be kind of crazy, right? Uh, the second rider's gone through. Oh, no, that's actually the person who was here, wasn't it? Right, so our next rider's coming from up there. These two are actually getting pulled across here. What is going on? Right, another one through the finish line. Okay, but they're stuck over here. This is bizarre. This is a very bizarre level. Okay, the first rider's been caught by the rider at the back here, and I've adjusted this ramp because if that rider can pull the other one all the way up here, there it goes getting caught. Oh, no. Even though I've adjusted it, it's not quite enough. Well, if they could get all the way there, do you know what? Do you know what? I reckon what we might want to do here is actually just take this, disconnect it on both sides, hi, and then create a ramp like that. Now, we might need to mess around with the angles a little bit. In fact, quite a lot. <laughs> uh, but that might do the trick, so it doesn't get caught on the rock, you know? Okay, two riders on the bridge. One approaching from the right. One approaching from the left. That's all that's ever going to happen, right? So this whole time, what I really should have been focusing on is, uh, is not doing that, basically. So our first rider is going to go down here into the pit and basically break their legs or something horrible and the riders coming from the other side are going to need to go over so we just kind of need to disconnect one of these I think that one right there point this one downwards point that one up a little bit more I wonder if this thing will still hold itself together at this point let's make a nice big shape there we go and let's see if that holds itself together it kind of does but I think it needs another connection just there Right, so now the first rider is going to come straight down, and ah, oh, <laughs> that's that's not what we wanted. That's that's not good. Okay, here comes the first rider. Oh, oh, that's actually a good landing for us. Okay, so who's next? Backwards rider, can you make the jump? You can. And then where are you going to go? You've got to go forward now. With a little bit of speed, we might even get the star. <laughs> Oh, not enough for the start. Okay, no dead riders yet. This is this is intense, man. This is intense. Here comes the next one. Oh, no, they're going to collide. But no dead riders. Sweet. That was pretty cool. Um, but we didn't get the star. I'm happy with that. That was quite all right by me. So two very tough levels there out of the way. Possibly the two toughest in the game because it doesn't unlock another area, which is unfortunate. I'm guessing the developers will probably add more over time, right? So we've got six levels to do there and one in this area. And of course, we can go back and play old levels and get stars and things that we missed. But uh, that's all for the future because that's it for this episode. Do hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for the tremendous support on this season. And I'll see you on Monday, hopefully some sandbox.
Ciao for now. Bye-bye.